Welcome back for another Game Maker Studio tutorial and this will be a basic one. So basically this is what you're seeing on the screen, a sniper. So I have this building here and then if a zombie comes into the range it homes in quite shortly on the target and then it aims and bam it shoots one guy and then well then it reloads. So if you wanted to know how to do that in Game Maker guess the easiest way possible, stay tuned. This is 1UP Indie, I am the developer of the indie game Clunky Souls and the commercial game Office Org. if it's released in let's say a week or so, then if you are new here and you want more, consider subscribing to my channel because I upload almost every day or every second day a video and share my stuff or comment because this is showing the YouTube algorithm that that stuff is actually relevant. So that would be sweet if you could do this. So let's get right into the good stuff because you are here for the tutorial. So the first thing which is I guess uh, what are we gonna do? We just have one object. Of course it can be a static enemy or something we're just moving. This is up to you but here I just have a building as an ex example but of course if you're having a different game then you can of course transfer the logic to well, your game, for example, this is for example not a building, but um, uh, I don't know, a sniper guy which is just sitting statically or just moving. But this is up to you. So how does that actually work? So first of all, we have our building here, so this is this one. And then we need to have a few things defined. So first of all, we have a range. So let's say this is our range, of course it's a little bit less. Then we're checking, hey, is one of those zombie guys there, so are there zombies? And is it in our bubble, so in our range here? Sweet. Then we do something like this, we have a timer and we just run it down. Do, 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 do. And then once the timer is running down, so this is like a cooldown mechanic, then we're saying, all right, we can home in, so we can target our zombie. So basically we are saying, hey, we are in the face of the, uh, the marking the target and then homing on it in. And then we have a second timer which is like dit, 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 dit. and then for example after we aimed let's say for a very brief time we kill that uh, side and then we have a shot and like, this is just shooting at it and then we repeat the whole process. So this is one of the things. The other one so you understand the variables. What do we actually need for that? So first of all this is our building and I wanted to have um, position where the sniper is sitting so basically this is somewhere in here because here are the windows for example it would look kind of silly if it's on the roof because it doesn't look too realistic then first of all we need the position here where our sniper is sitting for eternity and just waiting and then we need to um, check for the enemy and so we need the second position which is on the enemy and Preferably a little bit higher because so it looks definitely better if it if it's not aiming at the chest But a little bit higher at the head just a thing you can do, but of course you don't have to These are the things then we need a range defined how but at which point we all the logic is being started And then we need timers or two the one for if you are in this bubble and the second one if you are um, aiming and then targeting so these are the things and for example if you go into that object I already have that set up so you understand those variables they are not too difficult to understand so first of all so as you can see the sniper house we need our range which is 70 pixels so here 70 pixels from here we can start checking then I have a variable which is called mark target and that one is being used for a draw event so our draw event is just drawing a line so draw a line with and this is a new one it didn't even know that it does exist I guess this is a new addition <laughs> maybe I'm a little bit late um, because you could just say draw a line but here draw a line with is a specific one you can have a specific width so you can make the line more than one pixel because one pixel is quite small the bigger your monitor is so yay 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 and then it needs two input points so because the line needs two points so sniper x and y so this is the start position of our sniper and end sniper y and x is the point where our zombie is so these two points i need to have 
So the first one is pretty easy. So our sniper is somewhere at our X position because that thing is aligned at the top left. So let's go in here. As you can see, align top left. And therefore, we need to go from that top left position X and Y a little bit to the right because we want it to be in those window areas. So therefore, I just said, hey, plus three and the sprite width. So we are starting from a little bit to the left, a little three pixels and then to the right minus three pixels. So basically we are all the time in the window area. And here this is of course very specific for my case. Once again, a random place at the Y position. So 80 pixels. So we are skipping the roof and it's somewhere in between here. So you understand we have a fixed position for the sniper X and Y and they stay there because this is just in the creative end. And then the sniper X and, and Y end are being checked and changed all the time because this is the crucial point. And then of course once again two timers, once for the reloading, so this is the cooldown, so we cannot shoot at all. And then once the time is down, so this timer is down, then we are starting to mark the target and home on it. So this is the second timer. And then of course once again if we uh, have this target marked variable set as true, bam, we are homing in on this guy. So let's build it up from the start. So what do we do? First of all, we need our target to be well assigned and therefore I just do that with the instance nearest. This is this is a, this is a function which is just checking, hey, what kind of object is the nearest to myself. So therefore you need to put in the X and Y position which from which you want to check. And if, of course you could go for X and Y without the extra stuff but then it would all the time be from this position. I like it to be a little bit more center so it's a little bit more balanced and therefore just go sprite width um, divided by 2 and sprite height. Um, minus three. So basically we are just going here and here somewhere in this kind of position and therefore uh, we can actually do something like this because I did it the same. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. So as you can see bam and then for example we can actually already draw the range around it. So you see uh -huh, I am in the range. So, because here is again sniper range, which is at a 40, 50, 60 bit. As you can see, now we're having a circle around it, and in this circle, all the action is happening. So, bam, this is the first part of the logic. But now, for, for example, now nothing is happening, and the instance nearest is just, just returning an ID if there is one. And therefore, we need to go and do our first thing. We want to make some logic which is this here so let's copy paste it because I don't want to write all this stuff do we need this no 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 so first of all we need to check two things bam is our distance to an object so this thing is returning a value which is I don't know some 20 pixels 50 80 whatever so we are just checking hey to our nearest um, zombie is it in is it smaller than our range and if it is great and if there is a zombie sniper because if you put in uh, that thing as um, inside the code but you skip this part maybe there is no zombie around and then it will throw an error and this is a thing which of course you don't want so once again we're just checking for the nearest zombie then we're checking hey is the nearest zombie um, less than our range which we defined by, I don't know, what is it, 70 pixels. Great, so once we are in our bubble here, so we are, the zombie is around, we we'll just let our sniper reload or cooldown timer run down. And what do we do? Well, we do something like this and here, bam, close it, we're just checking, hey, is our sniper time, so the reload timer, is it down, so it's running down. Then we're just going great, 
we uh, we can actually now start aiming at this guy and now we have our sniper mark timer which is the other timer so when we are having when we are drawing the red line so for example here our red line it's only being drawn it's all the time basically just there kind of um but only when you are marking your thing and for example now great we are marking and of course we do the same as this guy here so bam just checking hey so is our first timer down is our second timer as well down now we make another one here so it looks beautiful that was checking okay sweet so what do we need so basically we are with our first timer down, our second timer is down, we already marked the target, now we need to get the position of the target, which is kind of important. So we need to get, this is a thing which we do in the face of once we, we are not reloading, so what I'm doing here, so now we are getting the position of the a mark target and storing um, the exposition of the nearest zombie which we're having the exposition because this one doesn't really change it's a so the zombie so the zombie is basically aligned you can see in the middle but we don't want this position this exposition we do want but we want to aim a little bit higher so we get the head so da -da -da -da. What do we do? I don't know, I just go for minus 8, so we a little bit higher, and then we get the correct position. And already, for example, if we do this, it would uh, once run down, and once be marked, and then, of course, it will be, uh, well, marking the whole thing, because our logic isn't finished here. But, for example, now you see nothing is happening, so we are in our, this is our bubble range. And then for example once the zombies coming come on come on come then the first time i will run down and then you, you will see that it's marked because now bam the thing is being uh, drawn all the time of course we don't want that because it's just marking a target but you got this point and this point are ready so what do we need to do as the next step because now we want to reset and shoot this is what we do first of all we say hey our mark target is false and then we go and reload our both timers so one for the sniper cooldown and once for the marking because now we are actually doing the action we are shooting and for that i have uh, two objects they shouldn't be too difficult you don't really need to understand um, what they do basically one is just a muzzle so this is the thing which is just doing something like this bam then well after its animation ends it is gone and for that we need two positions the x and y where you're shooting from this is uh, well where the sniper is sitting so once again i create two things first of all a muzzle and then the shot and of course i store it into variable and here i put in a few things not too terribly important of course this one we can kill because we don't really need it um and then we give it a direction and a speed and the image blend and damage you can completely forget these are things which you don't need but i put them in so it works in my world and for example now let's try it again it already all works Come on, come on, come on. And the last thing, which I kind of skipped on too, uh, too fast. But for example, now, once again, you see that we are having a bubble. The first timer, then second timer, and then reset. And this is just basically the whole code quite easily put together. So come on, come on, zombies, faster. You see, bam. Shooting, reloading. Aiming, shooting, reloading. And this is just basically the whole thing. But of course, a little thing, for example, how do you get the direction? Well, you just go 
say point direction so this is always how you can get an angle the specific one which you need from our sniper position and then the position of the zombie and minus seven why minus seven because i want to aim it a little bit higher because once again the zombie is aligned at its bottom center but we want to aim it a little bit higher and the shot as well and of course a little fallback mechanic you don't have to do that but i think this is quite important so let's zoom out a little bit this is of course additional you don't really have to do that but this is a safeguard so for example you're just checking hey is your my instance is the object zombie existing so bam then we do the shooting of course it, it is not required because i already did the check but doing more checks is not a bad thing so for example here but what about if you have somebody else shooting and let's say he's killing your zombie before you could actually fire a shot but you are still in drawing your thing then the red thing would linger there on and this definitely looks silly and therefore um well what you can do is for example if a zombie is not existing then you do all those things for example there's no zombie around then you say marked as false and your all your timers are being set to default so this is a, a thing which you could of course consider so hopefully that was of interest to you and you now know how to build your own sniper logic this thing will be uh, fully available so link in the description to my patreon of course this is free to use and abuse have a good one one up indeed